You know what I realized recently? I look like a Christian youth group leader. <laughs> That's my energy. Just like, g'day kids, welcome to summer camp. <laughs> Your parents don't love you, but Jesus does. <laughs> my vibe. I've got a boring head as well. Like, there's no notable features about this. I'm a human Corolla. You know? <laughs> Everyone's got one, but no one's impressed by it. Like, every time I see a Crime Stoppers ad at a train station, I'm like, fuck, that's me, dude. <laughs> It's got to the point where my head is so boring that strangers feel the need to come up to me just to tell me other random white dudes that they think I look like. And when I say strangers, exclusively drunk girls. <laughs> I don't know where you get your confidence from, ladies, but it is inspiring. <laughs> Every weekend, I'll be like out at a bar or something, girls are just like, excuse me, <clears throat> stop. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yes. And every time, they always say the same thing. They're always like, you look like the guy, Joe, from the Netflix show, You. <laughs> Now... For those who are not familiar with this show, neither was I. I quickly Googled it. Turns out this Joe character, quite a good looking unit. I was stoked. <laughs> so I start bragging about it to everyone I've ever met. <laughs> I'm telling my friends, my family, I was like, spread the word, this is great for me. <laughs> I did a little more research. <laughs> for those who don't know, I later found out the Netflix show You is about a guy that stalks and kills women. <laughs> Quite aggressively. This man is a sexual predator, and the whole week I've been like, me, him, same guy. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> and girls love this show, and they love the guy, Joe, in it, and I cannot reiterate enough, this man is a creep, a stalker, and a murderer. And every girl's like, yeah, but he's mysterious, you know? <laughs> I was talking to this one girl, she's like, at least he cares. <laughs> like, <you know? laughs> Every girl's like, I can change him, trust me. <laughs> And happened again, the next weekend I went out, sure enough, this girl, she was like, you look like that guy Joe from the show You. But this time I was gonna say something, but then her friend butted in, she was like, no, 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 he doesn't. And I was like, thank you, he's a creep. And she was like, yeah, 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 all good. <laughs> <laughs> you look way more like Ted Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, great. So it's not up for debate if I look like a sexual predator or not, but what is up for debate is which one. <laughs> if I grew a mustache and then left the house, that'd be a fucking hate crime. <laughs> and I remember when the Bundy documentary came out a few years ago, people at the time did tell me that I resembled the serial killer, Ted Bundy. And I don't know if you know this, but that's not good press. <laughs> But my girlfriend found out about this and we we're watching it together, like the documentary on the couch, and she's looking at Ted and then back at me <laughs> and then back at Ted. And she's like, you know what? <laughs> I see it. <laughs> and she said this sentence out loud and it haunts me to this day. She's like, hmm, yeah. You guys kind of have a similar vibe. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 no. He abducts and kills people and has a monobrow, okay? I would never, ever have a monobrow. <laughs> That is disgusting. Ted Bundy's down to fuck. I'm down to pluck. Thank you very much. 